In the following video, we make use of the fair use law. The Nazis of YouTuber on a secret witch hunt to take down me and other compilation channels. This is the first episode of this new series where we finally bring attention to what's been abused for way too long on YouTube, content theft. Most YouTubers that do that are compilation channels. They take somebody else's video and put them unedited in their own video and call it fair use. This is not fair use, and we will call them out one by one and hopefully get YouTube to do something about it. Who are we? The Council is an organization of hundreds of YouTubers with the intent to help out where YouTube's leadership is not. If you want to join, contact us through one of the links in the description. Today's content thief is Clemmy, a YouTuber with over 500,000 subscribers. She's been stealing from a lot of council members up until now. Just watch. A lot of you are confused to where Clemmy V2 videos has went. Well recently I've private them all because one, I have two copyright strikes. Now I know what you're all thinking. Clemmy you never credit nobody in the description. Well yes I do admit I never credit in the description and I'm sorry. But that doesn't mean I never considered it. So you thought about giving us credit, yet you were too lazy to actually go and hunt down the content creators when you decided to steal from us because you thought it'd be a quicker way to make money without us even knowing. Remember Hefty? Well his channel has been terminated for spam because a mass number of links in his description, aka credit. So you think Hefty got terminated for crediting? Well, most Instagram posts are stolen regardless. Hefty and other compilation channel spam upload stolen content. Of course they'll be terminated sooner or later. We'll make sure of that. He could have been placing them in the description wrong or I don't know, but I didn't want to take the risk. You didn't want to take the risk. And you're avoiding the risk that is getting in trouble with the original content creators themselves. Because you thought you can get away with just uh, monetizing these videos and making money. Well, keep in mind, I don't, some other people don't, but that doesn't mean you should make money off of their videos. Especially since that some of these people do this for a living. A lot of you are thinking, oh Clemmy is in it for the money she's making money off comps. Well actually I'm not. You're showing a screenshot that shows you're not being monetized on YouTube. You have two strikes on both channels anyways. Of course, you do not qualify for monetization. Now I know every YouTuber has the right to copyright take down something they don't want in compilations. But I do think it's a little unfair if you get copyright striked out of nowhere with no contact before it. That is not how it works. YouTubers shouldn't contact you to remove their videos after they found it in one of your compilations. It is your job to contact them first and ask for permission to use their content. They have the full right to copyright strike you. I don't understand why this is a big issue if according to them we make more views than them. Well reality check. It's not our fault the public gets attracted by more compiler channels than original channels. Nobody questioned that at all. And this is one of the main problems. You make more views, so the original creators make less. LOL which I don't think any compiler's purpose is to steal content for money but, we sure do give memes exposure. Compilers give exposure. Okay. Uh, compilers don't give no exposure because one, they don't give credit at all. And some of the compilers actually blur out the watermark. So they're giving them no exposure and only making them gain views. And not the original content creators, but the compiler themselves. And besides, if they kill compilers or how the flying fucker of common meme is going to get exposure? I don't know, maybe post the original video onto different platforms? We've already stated that you don't get exposure. You do the opposite. Plus, do you seriously think compilations are the only ways to get views? You can make a public playlist on your channel page, that way the original video gets the views instead of your stolen version. There are countless ways. How do you think those videos get views at all? This is incredibly stupid. This is honestly a tiring repetitive topic and the fact that I'm literally the only one speaking up against this saddens me. You're not the one who's in position to complain. You've gained thousands of subs by stealing videos. We're not sending anyone. You were the one that mass flagged Nahonium out of nowhere. This is all your own doing. But what now, Clemmy? Well, I have two copyright strikes on V1 and V2, so if you want to watch my compilations, please go to Clemmy V3 link in the description. <laughs> You're just going to keep going on with the new stuff, aren't you? YouTube Council, 
don't block me then send people after me to harass me and report my Twitter account for defending myself. If blocked you after you tweeted the hashtag no more talking and DM'd everyone associated with us the same thing. So we shouldn't block someone who blocked us multiple times. Yeah. This is a direct response to Clemmy's video linked in the description if you think we took it out of context. There's also a link to a bonus video with all the messages and tweets Clemmy put out. 